What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel, Eat With Coral Blush. Yeah, it's finally the Scotch Egg Sweet, see that again, Savory versus Sweet. So these Scotch Eggs are obviously a boiled egg wrapped in sausage meat, and then breadcrumbed. Um, I only bought these, they were a pack of two from Aldi, 89 pence or something they are. You can make your own, Kenny does beautiful scotch eggs but I just for quickness bought them. This is the lovely Heston. This is the sweet one. So we'll get it out this packet and we'll have a look at it guys. Looks like a big Ferrero Rocher, doesn't it? So that's the sweet one, guys. Close our fires. So I thought I'll do this little taste test review, but also I thought I may as well do some savoury ones and that's like my dinner, and this one can be like my pudding. So um, I'll stick a little thing here explaining what's actually in the Heston egg, okay? Cause this writing, you know, may blame bat, there's no chance I'm gonna read that. <laughs> so I'll stick the information up there to what's inside this egg. Right, today guys, I've got a Aldi energy drink, Red Thunder. <laughs> Rip off Red Bull. Need a bit of energy today, guys. Oh yeah. Cheers everybody. Happy Tuesday. Lovely. Right, so will I take a bite of the big ones or the halved ones? I'm going with the big one. So that's what it looks like up close. Ready first bite, guys. Oh, yummy jaw snap there. Flip my neck. <laughs> mm. These are also lovely. I put them in the oven for 15 minutes. Like if you eat them straight out of the pack, they're still nice, but they taste even nicer, like heated up and they go a little bit crisp. Mm. Lovely these. Kenny's Nana makes lovely ones. Kenny makes lovely ones as well. First time he made them, he even got the runny yolk inside. And I mean, that's really hard to do. Top chefs would be happy with that if you served them. But then he thought he was a pro off that. And then he went to make them again. I think it was just before Christmas. Because <laughs> I was going to do a video on them. And uh, oh, he must have like boiled them like too, like much less of a time than the first time. Because as he was peeling them, they were just like turning into mush. They, weren't, they didn't have like that hard boiled around the outside. <laughs> So he was like taking his time being dead gentle in the um, eggs we had, like the uh, shell wasn't coming off easy at all. So it was even worse picking tiny bits off at a time. <laughs> he started going mad in the kitchen. Um, I says, well, put what you haven't peeled yet back in the uh, water to boil like for another minute or so. I'm not bothered if they're runny and I mean, they are lovely and they look lovely, but I mean, the taste like, there's no real difference in the taste apart from a runny yolk. <laughs> But no, no, it doesn't like my suggestions, you see. Thinks I'm butting in, but I do have plenty helpful suggestions. You no, know, like if he's doing like um, some DIY. 
I mean, I am six years older than him. I do know. I probably do know a little bit more than him, you know what I mean? I mean, he has learned a lot since we've been together. He's done a lot of work and he is very clever, but he just hates it when I come up with a suggestion. <laughs> he goes mad. So he'll go the long way around something and then end up doing what I said in the first place because he's so stubborn and didn't want to listen to me. <laughs> He'll just go the long way around it. Mm. Anyways, back to the scotch egg making. He carried on. <coughs> Didn't listen to me putting them back in the water. Carried on. He ended up like slamming everything down, chucking everything in the bin. Total waste. Everything, eggs, sausage meat, everything just went in the bin. I went, E, have you seen the way you're going on over a bloody scotch egg? All because you wanted the runny yolk. And it doesn't matter if they're runny or not. Just cook them as normal. I wish you could get drinks what tasted like energy drinks but without like the caffeine and stuff. Anyway, speaking about Kenny, it's his birthday on Saturday, guys. I've got him a few. Um, few, few of the tools he wants for to know to start doing his like axe making and stuff. So he'll be happy with them. Um. Yeah, so I'm thinking we've still got another week, but it's not the end of the month this weekend, isn't it? Me mum's birthday on Friday. It's me mum's first and then Kenny's. Mm. So for Kenny's we'll probably just have a little like, well try and have a little party in the house <laughs> just like us. <laughs> He's one early going to get alive guys on Saturday, but I said to him, couple of nights ago I says do you fancy still going live on Saturday for your birthday and he went, mm, not really like <laughs> so sorry guys <laughs> he doesn't want to do that on his birthday he doesn't want to be like sat at the table like you know what I mean he wants to just chill and enjoy his birthday with his family because I mentioned it I think it was last week and he said, yeah, mate. So I'm thinking, ooh, I was nearly going to post. Like on my YouTube community tab, I was nearly going to say, guys, we're going to go live on Saturday. Just as well I didn't, because he's changed his mind now. Mm. 
I was going to do some salad as well. I had a bag of salad in the fridge. <clears throat> but when I opened it, it like looked a bit wilty. So I thought, nah, we'll not bother with the salad. Right, we will open this um, chocolate one, see what's inside eh? Left my neck, what's it made of? Concrete. Oh, oh God. Mmm. <laughs> right, guys, that's the inside of it. See, so compare the real to the chocolate. Real chocolate. Right, I'll go with the broken one since it's broke. Looks interesting. Mmm. 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 It's like a crispy outside. Then it's got like a chocolatey, thick chocolatey mousse thing, ganache or whatever it's called. And then a white chocolate. And then in here, I'm sure I read it was mango. Mm. I would have liked this in the middle to be a lot more tangy. The, it's very rich. Like as in could be sickly after a few bites. Yeah, this is just like a hint of, I think it said mango, a slight, slight hint. Mm. Yeah, it is mango. Well, honest review, guys, for six pound, I wouldn't bother. <laughs> it's nice, but I definitely wouldn't buy another one, not for that much. Very rich. You know what would have been even nicer if that inside was like a lovely lemon mousse or lemon curd kind of thing. <gasps> Nah, I'll give that to the kids. Nah, I can share that. Well, what a disappointment that was, guys. I need another drink, two seconds. I just got some Coke. Yeah, I'm not impressed with that. Thank you, Kenny, but it was very nice of you getting it because I was dying to try it, but... I will not be getting it again. I'm going back to my savory ones. <laughs> savory ones are much nicer. Mm. Anyways, who's excited? Those of you in the UK, who's excited? Extremely excited for the 21st of June. Yes, I can't believe it. Fingers crossed if things go to plan. The 21st of June is when... Not, COVID's not over, but like all restrictions are over. Go back to your life as normal. Imagine the people's birthdays on the 21st of June. Well, nightclubs, pubs, bars, restaurants, everything will be open. So what a birthday they're going to have, huh? So hard to believe, isn't it, guys? <clears throat> Kids are going back to school in a couple of weeks' time, which that'll be good because getting more up, ready, out the house. The weather's much nicer now, nice and sunny. Still a little bit cold, but at least it was like being at home, schooling, like, while well, all the horrible winter weather's been here, all the horrible rain and stuff. <clears throat> Not saying it can't rain, but it's like getting nicer, the weather. Yeah. 
Yeah, so I says to Kenny, I says it'll be weird, like, once everything is, like, back to normal, life how we used to live it, you'll still feel like you can't go next to people in shops and stuff. It'll probably take a while to, like, decondition yourself, like, how you've been living for the past year. I just hope it all goes to plan. Fingers crossed, guys. But I think um, these vaccines are working, I think. Because I know you can still get it, but it's like how you cope with it when you have it. Um, that's eased a lot. Like, there's not, the, the, like, the death rates are coming down, and the people who even have to be hospitalised are coming down. So. I definitely think these injections have been helping. And it's always been about protecting the um, elderly and the vulnerable, hasn't it? Like who like have like underlying issues. So I think they've definitely helped. My mum works in a care home and all this time, all the way through the COVID, this care home has been able to say there's never been a COVID case in their care home. But in the past week, <coughs> there's been one. Sorry, last week it was. There was one. And I think now she said there's three or four. Um, so they no longer can say that because they were like pride in themselves, like saying like they've like kept everything like spot on and there hasn't been one case. But now, obviously, I think she said about four's got it now. But the very mild symptoms, because everyone's had the injection in her home, and so has she, and she, she has to be tested every week for COVID. Um, but she says the ones who do have it are not, like, one bit ill. They've just got, like, symptoms like what Ellis had. It's like, they've got it, but it's, like, very mild symptoms, thank God, because, obviously, they're all elderly in her home. So I think because they've had the injections, I think it has really helped them. But well done on that one because um, they've kept it away all this time for a full year. And just like on the last leg, people have got it, but luckily they've had the injection and they haven't been too ill. Or the vaccine, should I say? Well, I'm full up, guys. I'm canny disappointed in that, like, considering it's Heston. Come on, Heston. That could have been a lot more fruitier in the middle. There's too much, like, <clears throat> like chocolatey, do you know what I mean? You need something zesty. To, and considering it's mango, you'd think it would be, like, a sharp thingy of mango. But nope. So, guys, if you're ever tempted to get one, I mean, everyone's taste bud's different, but I wouldn't waste your money. But these are lovely. 89 pence for a pack of two in Aldi. Warm them up in the oven so they go, like, sort of crisp. <laughs> right, I'm going to go anyways. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified of future uploads. I love you all. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Bye.